This is Twit. Uh, we got an email actually from uh, a viewer who a said, viewer. I want to know what's in Leo's bag. <laughs> You mean this heavy old thing that I carry around? Well, his go bag. He's oh. going on a trip, um, and he wanted to know what you take on a trip. Well, I have it. <laughs> right here. Oh, man. That's a lot of stuff. Well, I'm on a trip, right? Yeah. You don't. You can't go back home, as I did earlier today, Ooh. to get the stuff in my bag. Actually, the bag isn't usually that heavy, but I, I happen to have in the bag today because... Oh. It's my new baby that I love so very much with my 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 new MacBook Pro. So that's that I am going to take with me. I've been deciding back and forth, going back and forth, whether I can live with an iPad, an iPad Pro with a pencil and a Lightroom. And I can do a lot of what I want to do, but not everything. So will you bring both? <sighs> yes. Oh, why? Why? Like, why not just bring them? Well, I need this for importing my photos because the main activity on travel when i travel that i need a computer for is is uh photography mm -hmm. right and i could do a lot of it on the ipad pro yes i'll also be bringing in my bag <laughs> the eGPU because it turns out uh, if you don't have this you ain't got nothing ah. what is that that's apple's 700 hundred dollar Actually, it's made by Blackmagic, but Apple has the exclusive eGPU that you need to get the most out of your four thousand dollar laptop. But we'll save that discussion for another. And you're you're not really another bringing show. That. No, I'm not going to bring that. That would be a good workout, though. Carry it on your back. And I went. probably wouldn't bring the laptop if it weren't for the fact that it's a cruise. So we'll unpack once. I'll set it up once. I'll leave it plugged in, and and then I, you know, what I like to do is go down maybe to the lounge, have a drink, listen to the lounge singer, and do some photo processing of an evening and. I could almost do it on the iPad, but the other thing is, I, 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 I you know, I'm, I like to do a little, a little coding mm -hmm. every once in a while. It's very, I find it very relaxing, mm -hmm. and you can't really do uh, much on an iPad. So the stuff I want to do, so you know, I may bring a little bit of a lighter one because I have a, a Windows 10 uh, iPad-sized Windows 10 machine coming. That's the Surface Go. So, so it may end up. That gets replaced. We'll see oh. by the surface go. Okay, I have a question about this. Um, I noticed it's just naked in your bag without that fancy leather sleeve. Yeah, I okay. gave it back because it was $200 and it didn't do diddly. This bag is, by the way, this is a nice bag from Tumi, T U M I. They make, this is a nice, and it has nice padding in here just for a laptop. That's the laptop slot. This is the Tumi Alpha Bravo, if you want to know. Mm, I do want to know. If you want to know. Wait, by, so, the, by the way, the other thing I have in here, but does dual duty by both protecting the laptop and protecting my nose. Mm -hmm. I carry a handkerchief with me now all times. I learned that in Japan. I thought you carried two. Do you carry two? I do. I still do. This okay. is the one for young ladies who are crying who -hooing. at something you just said to them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then I carry also, this is the one for blowing your schnoz on. Uh -huh. You see, it is patterned and colored, so there's no... Issues mm -hmm. about which is which. Mm -hmm. The clean linen, white hanky, for the for the to hand to somebody who's having trouble, mm -hmm. and then the patterned hanky for your nostrils. So, lady in distress. Lady in distress. Not. Got it. Yes, <laughs> it is not an accident that the patterned <laughs> handkerchief is green. All right. Uh, which I, now this is highly organized. Shall I go front to back? Yeah. So the the front side. Oh. <laughs> he, he snuck up behind me. The front side has two small pouches. One's for my wallet, right? Now, it, probably if you're traveling, it wouldn't be a good idea, truthfully, to keep your wallet in a front patch pouch. So I probably won't keep it there, especially when I get to Barcelona, which mm -hmm. is notorious. Oh, my God, they already got it. <laughs> I think the front pouches cannot be underestimated. Never buy a bag without a front pouch. I like it because, you know, during during day-to-day -day operations, the ability to whip out my wallet. And by the way, this is a really bulky wallet because it's going my bag, right? Not my pocket. Oh, there's... Hey, pay no attention to my SAG after card. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this, this is one with little zipper pouches for coins. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, when I travel, I, I, uh, I also uh, want to have two money slots, one for American dollars and one for whatever currency... I'm carrying, uh, in this case, it'll be euros in most cases. There are a few places without, Euro, without euros. I do have a passport wallet, which I may trade this in for when we actually hit the road. You don't so, have a mobile passport. I do, 
but you, but you need a regular passport oh. too. You got to you still got to have the old paper book. This another thing I always look for in all my bags is a hook because I keep my keys on a chain mm. so I won't accidentally lose them, right? And then I and then I have a quick release uh, doohickey on the chain so that I can quickly get to the stuff I need. Another thing you got to carry with you at all times your security key. Google just did a study. They have 85,000 employees. They started requiring this a couple of years ago for them to log into their Google accounts. They have not one phishing, mm. uh, a successful phishing attempt because they the require thing. the, the Ubiqui. This is a Ubiqui, Y U B I C O dot com. When we, yeah, when I worked at Microsoft, we had a physical thing as yeah. well, a card yeah. that had a thing on it. And this one so far hasn't gotten me booted from an airplane, but it, it may someday. It's a bottle opener. It's a wrench. It's a screwdriver. It can do a lot of different things. Really, mostly it's decorative. It's pretty. But uh, you'd think the TSA would not like that. But so far, no problems with that. Now, you might say, why do you bring your keys when you travel? I probably won't. You know, I probably won't. You won't bring your YubiKey? I will. I have to bring my YubiKey, right? Because I need that to log in. Uh, so that's important. Let's see what else. This is convenient. This one's convenient because it has a magnetic pouch here for your tickets, or or you could put your passport in or there, your and stuff like that. Ah, be great. For, look at that. Watch. That's you're, what you're so I. Smart. I need a bag with a pocket like that that you don't have to unzip on the right. with, for the phone. You can just whip your phone out. Right. And it has a magnetic closure, so you can. It's it's somewhat. You'd secure. feel if someone was trying to steal your phone. Well, yeah. These this is not the ideal bag for that. Although, I do recommend these. These are tough tags. Oh. And these are aluminum metal tags with a metal attachment that has my uh, location information on it. You know, this is your luggage tag. This is, because it's metal, it's never going to come off. And, and, and it really is tough. Although, I did get a piece of hand luggage, or a piece of a checked luggage back the other uh, trip. And this was <laughs> twisted and bent. Oh. And it was almost like they, 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 they took offense. Yeah, they were like, let's so, see who you call it tough. So, if that's the case, just... Stick that right in, in this side oh, pouch. Oh, I'm going to get one of those. That's smart. Tough Rather tag. I just attach the Amazon. ones you get at the airport. Yeah, and I feel like those get uh, those those are sure to get ripped off. Yeah. By uh, the the luggage handlers. All right. Now this bag has an interesting secret pouch you can use for two two purposes. Ooh. Ooh. See this pouch back here. This could be used, and sometimes I do do that. You open it up and open up the top, and then slide your luggage. You know, if you have rolling luggage, your handle in there. That's a very nice way. But what I do is I make this my quick access for pens and stuff. <gasps> Always carry so, a pen. Well, you never know if somebody's going to want an autograph. Uh huh. Yep. So I carry I carry these, and uh, you know, you never know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes an autograph on a post-it note. Mm -hmm. will or be if enough. you need to get someone's phone number. Right. I have my pencil for my Google Chromebook. Oh. <laughs> How many do you have? Are you bringing? If you bring the Surface Go, you have not to bring the three different pens. This is really handy. What is this? This is a little Larry. <laughs> this is that's what it's called, a little Larry Power Pocket Light. It does a lot of different things. So that's if you're uh, if that's like better than a flare if you yeah. break down an emergency or you can't read the menu. Whoa, mm -hmm. that is that is the little Larry. That is bright. They have or a, checking for fingerprints. And if <laughs> oh. if you're on if you're walking down the road and you know you clip this in your pocket and you're walking down the road the little larry is great to let people know you exist actually i keep this uh in the hotel by the bedside because you know if the lights went out or mm -hmm. there were an emergency the uh, having the little larry right there to help me get out or check for bed bugs check for <laughs> check for stains <laughs> yeah. um is it a pen too or just no nope, just a little larry just a light but i bet you could hit someone over the head with that too and it would hurt if you needed to defend yourself I mean, that's Let's what try I it. always <laughs> No, I would never, never strike a co-host. <laughs> not lately. I, uh, you said it, not This me. is a very important device for airplane travel. If you are on an airplane, especially if it's a long flight, there's a couple of things. I abs If I didn't have, I would get off the plane and say, see you later. One is a good set of headphones that either are noise canceling. These are these are noise canceling headphones from Shure. Mm. And say so you see, there's the little noise canceling thing. Oh, uh, actually, these are the Bose. These are the Bose Quiet Comforts. So uh, I uh, and this also has a little microphone that you can press so you can hear it if the flight attendant says coffee <gasps> or tea, sir. Smart, smart, clever. So I carry that in there. And then I need a lot of music, but I don't want to run my phone down, right? Mm -hmm, so 
Fat, so you might think, oh, Leo, you ha isn't that cute? Is you that still a have Zoom? an iPod. No, it's neither a Zoom <laughs> nor an iPod. But it is actually saying welcome. It, this is from Fio. They still they make a variety of these. And I actually got this some years ago for review. This is the Fio X1. They're now up to the X5. But I like the X3 or 4. Don't necessarily jump to the top of the line. What it is, oh, and what it is is dead. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things you got to do is charge. charge these up before you go. Let me see if I can. Oh, no, it's still there. So this this is just a music player with about 20 hours of battery life. And mm -hmm. that's because I don't want to kill my phone. Yeah. So I load this up and it has an SD card, micro SD card slot. So I can load it up with a ton of music. It is. Okay, let's admit this. This is not as good as an iPod or an iPhone. But what I'll probably just do is I'll say shuffle all the songs on here. So you put your favorite songs on here, and you shuffle them, and then this will keep you. This will keep you entertained. That's adorable. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. And it has this little uh, sheath, this rubber sheath. Doesn't make it waterproof, but it makes it much more resilient to moisture and other things that you might run into, like a spilled coffee or tea when the stewardess walks by and you say, "Hey, baby." So. Can you connect to that Bluetooth, or is it only? Uh, nope. Dog? Nope, and that's why it has a headphone jack. You may remember those from the 19th century. Mm. And this has a headphone jack, <laughs> too. The other thing is really important to carry with you, if you do carry headphones on an airplane, is the various airplane adapters. Mm. Because airplanes, as you know, have a variety of odd, sometimes even eccentric connections. And so in here we have, oh, I also have new, you know, I have my replacement earbuds. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, the ear ear thing that you use to get the wax out of there but i don't what i don't have i thought i had and i i maybe i have it enough in another con container is the that dual prong thing that they subject you to on older airplanes which is so you won't steal their headphones because their headphones are not normal mm -hmm. right like i'm gonna steal your 12 dollars headphones mm -hmm. i got 500 dollars headphones in here buddy buddy but i also i carry my hearing aids you know you, you never know when you're gonna need those mm -hmm. And uh, I also, it's occasionally, I do want Bluetooth. Uh, this is if I'm going to use my iPhone. And I love these. These are, the, as you know, the Jabra Elite Sport. They're really nice Bluetooth headphones, have a very good sound, long, long life. And they're waterproof, uh, so you can run in them. They don't fall out. And they do, uh, they do the Sport Elite, Elite Sport does, uh, you know, heart rate and the VO2 VO max um, measurements and things like that. Can you talk to Siri with them? And you can, mm -hmm. you can do all, you can do all of that stuff. So I like to have wired and wireless, as you can see. And I even have a backup pair because it's, you know, these are my favorite headphones. <coughs> if your battery dies on your uh, noise canceling headphones, the other way to go is with these headphones, which jam so far in your ear. Mm -hmm. Pardon the uh, earwax on there. They jam so far in your ear that you can't hear anything, including the flight attendant. And notice. Extremely important. Dongle. Dongle. Attached. Pre-attached. Attached. For That's your convenience. Mm -hmm. Although I carry two dongles in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I also have... USB-C. <laughs> yeah. One of those Google Pixel phones that also, <laughs> for some reason, saw fit to remove the dongle. Look at Apple doesn't know everything, guys. You I am so impressed with all this stuff. You're like a tech boy scout. This is, comes from years years of suffering i literally i was on an airplane without these once and no other way to seal out the baby crying damn that was awful so do you immediately then buy the thing and then just have it i mean that's like what what i, I got them all i got everything i need this is enough music this is this is i'm never going to be bored in an airplane i've got this I've got so this. do you not use any of this stuff in your regular life is this all just your travel stuff I, well, you notice I carry this bag with me all the time. Yeah, so it's so all. So once you pack it for travel. Just bring it everywhere. Might as well just leave it in there. Yeah. You never know when you're going to get stuck somewhere. This is the other thing I always have with me. This is a Bluetooth speaker. I actually got this as a gift from ZipRecruiter from one of our advertisers years ago. But this is the B and O, B O play, B E O P L A Y speaker. It's a Bluetooth Speaker, it also has a microphone, so you can use it as a speakerphone. It's got great sound, and so I can use this. And really, mostly what I do, I'll, I use this in the room, right, in the hotel room or the on the ship. And the, what mostly what I use this for is so at least that I can listen to books, right, mm. or, or maybe music late at night. 
Let's see if I uh, if I have it paired here. Because it has really good sound. I think this sounds, for the size of it, it's the B-E-O, B-O Play 2, P2. It was a freebie. That's interesting. Well, no, not to you everybody. can buy it. You can buy it. But yeah, it was nice. ZipRecruiter gave it to me. And I have a lot of Bluetooth headphones. You have the Fugus. Mm -hmm. They're a little bigger, though. See how flat that is? Mm -hmm. You can actually keep that right in your in your briefcase. And I think the sound is uh, is great. Let me just uh, let me play something. So you can hear how how uh, nicely it sounds. This is the uh, audio uh, player I use instead of, by the way, instead of uh, iTunes. I use Vox, V O X. It's very similar because it has. Uh... Oh. Yeah, it's playing out of there. Uh... Sounds pretty good, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. It's a, you know, I don't, it's not so much for music. Mostly um, for books. It's mostly for books. I'll, I'll show you uh, how a book sounds on it. It's really great for a voice. Or podcasts. Or podcasts, yeah. Two, five seconds. She called Our microphones are... Check, he replied, carefully noting the datum in its... See, it sounds good, doesn't it? Is that yeah. a good book? Oh, Amor Tolls. I read his Gentleman last book. Gentleman in Moscow. Oh, yeah, I want to read all of his stuff now. Oh, yeah. Is it a he? He, yeah. Amor? And I think he only has two, but I don't know that. Yeah, there's sure. a new one. This actually is the older of the two, I think. Oh. I think. It was recommended, actually, uh, by Emily the Strange in our chat room. Oh. Yeah, and I bought it, and I'm thrilled with it. I love it. Okay, so that's we're, t we're <laughs> halfway there. <laughs> that's the small pouches. You ready for the big pouch? Yes. Oh, there's two of those.